in the countdown. Must be that time. It's Monday. Time to get up and stretch those weary bones. Time for morning coffee with Mario. Bitches at the helm. I'm pressing buttons. What the hell's going on? And get the blood flowing. So, whatever you're doing out there, whatever's ailing you, get it real close to the stereo. It's a full day today in the neighborhood. We got news, we got sports, we got pigs. To me, like sap to a tree, you send me the rap happen to set me free. Instantly, when the mic touched this MC, whatever you have on the mic, this MC, feel whatever you're sipping on, whatever you're munching on, those scrambled eggs, that brand muffin, that cinnamon roll, that double bacon, that fresh cream juice, that organic, vegan, delicious, full grain cereal, whatever you have, and whatever you're smoking on this morning. everybody welcome everybody to morning coffee with mario welcome to all the facebook folks welcome all over the world all the folks tuning in from all over the united states and elsewhere we want to say thank you for tuning in and welcome to morning coffee with mario am fm bm tm it's all reality talk we want to thank you for being there man it's been great first of all Thanks to everybody for all those birthday wishes. I was actually trying to respond even this morning now because I've been reading them, taking my time and reading all the birthday wishes. I want to thank all you guys. Hey, I got the birthday shirt, you know. Tight. Birthday shirt. Yeah, that's tight, man. It's awesome. Yeah, you know, who wants to advertise a 61 anyway? (laughs) But (laughs) But I want to say thanks to all the people doing the birthday wishes. A lot of old friends, a lot of new friends, a lot of people I just met. You know, it's really wonderful. I actually have been historically kind of one of those people who didn't really celebrate birthday that much. Even well, when I was a child, my mom, I would awake to the the smell of my favorite breakfast being made, my favorite food all day. She would get me a cake. We didn't do a bunch of the gift stuff like you guys do today. But it was your special day and everything focused around your special stuff. So it was mostly things like that. And as I got older, you know, I don't know. But things happen. You just to lose focus. So I had actually been out of the habit of celebrating my birthday. And what's amazing is how good that Facebook stuff can feel. I have to admit, y'all, I am not one of those people that was looking for that. 
<laughs> and uh, it's amazing how good it feels. It's amazing. <laughs> you know, it feels wonderful. Yeah. And I'm not even into the birth. Y'all got me more into my birthday now than I have this. I want to say thank you all. Here, here's some claps for you. Claps <laughs> to y'all. For the birthday. For your birthday wishes. You wonderful people you. <laughs> Mac McAllister, G and Beauty, he's talking about it on the show this morning. So thank y'all. You know, and interesting people say, Well, what did you do on your birthday? Interesting enough. I had a nice, quiet birthday, talked to my mom in the morning, and I really spent the day kind of on my own, in a whole kind of different kind of a Zen mode. No with no specific no one was around me. You know, but I said, Ma, you were alone on your birthday. I said, Well, you know, I get into this whole meditative mode about the wonderful this and the things I have seen and the weed helps, you know, the weed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I get this whole so I was actually by myself on my birthday. And one of the thoughts I did have is, wouldn't it be nice is if on your birthday you actually went around and gave gifts to all the people that have been loving you and treating you kindly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? I about think about weird. weird. I think about weird stuff on my birthday. <laughs> so thank you all again. Hey, the Fourth of July is coming, so we don't know, Vic. I, I have to actually. I haven't even got a chance to confer with Vic about stuff. You know. You know. We have the. Quiet storm is scheduled for that night. We're gonna. So I got to talk to Vic about everything, but we'll let you know. What what we're going to be doing on the Fourth of July? What kind of surprises maybe that we might have in store? We'll see, we'll see. But Fourth of July coming. Hope you guys got some plans. Hey, people are joining the website. Want to thank you guys who are going to PacStereo.tv. Vic, we finally made it. We finally made it. Over three thousand members. Now, Pack Stereo TV, legitimate I'm members, because I had the software that checks them, and I got to oh, do this. I thought they so, were bots. <laughs> no, <laughs> could have been bots. They used to be bots. We one time we had like twenty thousand members, and then we ran the software to remove the bots, it and it crazy. was like <laughs> it was crazy, sad. Yeah, this is three thousand real members. Those of you who aren't a member, go over to TV take a look. Come on now, go over there and join up to the website. Become a become a member of our community because you know we want you. We want you. Okay, so let me tell you. So we got a few other announcements. You know, first of all, it's going to be a full day. We got the news. We got the hot picks. Uh, we got stuff happening this week. I told you we don't know what we're doing on the 4th of July, so it'll be coming. <laughs> I know, that's an announcement. Well, it's, I'm, it's keeping it real. Keep it real. We don't know. They, I haven't asked Vic. I, know I have some gonna... ideas I want to, but I got to run it past Vic. Hey, man. Let me tell you, where do you think everybody going to be? I don't know. Out. Well, I, got, I, I ain't gonna be out. That's it. So, so, I, so part of it is I need something to do to entertain my old ass. <laughs> see, 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 see. Okay, so we might hook up something. If Vic goes out, I still might hook up a thing and just do a broadcast myself. Well, you know, wherever it happens. Fourth of July music. Yeah, man. Because I don't have shit to do. <laughs> see, you don't. No, you mean you don't have shit you want to do? Okay, same thing. <laughs> No, no. So what, I have good friends who have invited me to do some stuff. And you said but, no. But, you know, I don't, no, I don't do, know. Okay, do this right now because they're going to see the video. Yeah, they are. Wait, I, it's not just I wave would love at to them be with you. But say, I, see, all this is right now. You know what? They do this with Trump. They say, bullshit. <laughs> they say, bullshit. I'm, you guys, I was alone on my birthday. Now, you know, on the 4th of July, I may not go out. New Year's, typically. Hint, there you go. That's it right there, you guys. No, He's whatever. out. <laughs> I'm not weird. They, want, they get you to know people on the internet, television are weird. I'm weird like you. They, thought I was going out partying. Watch this, up. you guys. They Just were, thought I was hitting the streets. Watch what he's doing. He's challenging people to actually hop over the fence and come and see where he's yeah, at. Yeah, not hop over my goddamn fence. <laughs> <laughs> they go hop over the fence. Where you at? <laughs> I'm the one who turns off the lights and hides in the dark on Halloween. They already know. The kids, look, the kids are, look. I'm telling you right now, people already sat back and said, it's the house over here. Go to the right side upstairs window. It's right there. If the cat's up there, he's in there. He's hiding. <laughs> it's jacked up. Well, it's okay. that's why our broadcasting is so irregular. 
Know that on Friday night, we're supposed to be got the new Friday night agenda that begins at 8 o'clock. It actually begins at 7 o'clock with the pre-show always where I play whatever I'm feeling as the pre-show. And then the pre-show also, by the way, is hosted by our artificial intelligence, Alexa. Hi. How are you, Alexa? I'm great. I hope you are, too. That's our artificial intelligence. She's right there all the time. Well, she hosts Friday night. The pre-show, and then eight o'clock, the new, the new, really new redesigned version of Mario's Magic Mixtape with all free music and links to it. So when you watch that show at eight o'clock on Fridays, not only do I play all free music that you can download legally, but I give you links to do exactly that. So that's wonderful. Of course, following that, the, mm. the pinnacle of the night. Hmm. The award-winning I, Victor, hmm. Friday night. You're right. You got dressed appropriately, loose-fitting clothing, hey. Hey. something cotton and washable. <laughs> You're wrong, man. <laughs> Just You're wrong. tell you, You're dress wrong. appropriately. <laughs> you know, it's with people. Well, so that's man. I, Victor. That's Friday night, 9 o'clock. Be there. You ain't got nothing to do. Right. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Be there Friday night. And it's going to be wonderful. Uh Coming up on Friday for me, Vic, it's a special Friday because I'm going to be featuring in the first part of the show Frank H. Carter the third, otherwise known as Songboy 3. Mm -hmm. He's the brother that sings in a bunch of the tracks right. that everybody likes. So I'm going to be featuring him and showing you a picture of Frank H. Carter. That's the vocalist you wish you knew. That's Friday night at 8 o'clock. Okay. Man. <laughs> Hey, a bunch of new st stuff is done, too. The latest slideshow. I got the music things ready for you. Oh, this is it. Take a look. Where is that? So, Miko was showing me some of her uh, involvements on the Internet, you know, places that she was. Because she's getting all this. Miko, you know, our, co our wonderful co-host, collaborator, associate producer person. She has all those titles. She uh, has been doing a bunch of acting now and getting a bunch of things happening. It's amazing how she's been working at in social media. So she told me about this site where she puts postings. She looks for postings called Star Now. Mm -hmm. Because she showed it to me, I went and looked. Now, next thing you know, I made a profile because we're looking for people and we want to interact with the community. So I actually put out, Vic, I got to end up doing this. I ended up fixing my, I ended up going to IMD. I'm working on the IMDB for me. Right. The pro version, I got that. So you'll be right. proud to know. That's that coming. Good. Mario's yeah. the IMDB. There you go. Also, start now. We have a, we're they're, on there. They're, we're they're listed. A, they're not just an app that's just posting for the sake of posting. That's an app that's basically saying we are active and we, and you, Ready to handle it? Once you put it out there, they say, okay, now. Well, you know what the thing it. is? Victor and I, we've had an ongoing challenge of having a regular crew to attend our broadcast. All, you all know we have the newly revamped courtyard out there. Mm -hmm. And so we have been looking at different ways, you know, to have a crew. Not in the same style as TMZ, but that's probably the... the that's probably the example that you all uh, would most relate to, but just way less formal than TMZ. We're more moving around. We want our people to actually develop and be their own online personas. So I put out an ad that we are looking for. So Internet TV producers seek live on-air crew for broadcast. Be yourself. And so I put it out there. Pack Stereos and Internet Television... television. <clears throat> Production group of multiple shows currently streaming live to an ever-evolving list of targets, including Periscope, Twitter, Ustream, Livestream, Internet Radio, and Facebook Live. One of our new experimental formats involved the use of a live crew to watch and interact with our live shows from the courtyard. Participants get the chance to evolve their on-air presence and interact in a comedic, improvisational environment. All shows in with a photo session, so you will get a lot of pics. All types of individuals are needed, especially if you are vocal and funny. Shows are also often 420 friendly, as you know, and some may feature staff indulging in marijuana as they interact. 
Now, you'll be warned what shows include what, what activities, and it's also okay not to indulge in any marijuana. You can actually make fun of the potheads who do, <laughs> like me. <laughs> we have an involving schedule. We'll be publishing upcoming show dates frequently. We are hoping to develop a standing list of individuals who will be able to be part of the live events and social media production. Individuals who are willing to simulcast to their own online audiences are especially appreciated. And I listed the shows right now, Morning Coffee with Mario, that's Mondays 10 to 12. The Quiet Storm, which is Tuesdays 8 to 10. The Friday Night Agenda, which includes uh, I, Victor, Miko's Challenge, and Mario's Magic Mixtape. That's 8 to 10. And then Saturdays, it's coming up. I think Vic has one Saturday we already know. Saturday, July 15th, correct, Vic? That's correct. That's correct. We actually are going to be featuring the Millen Sisters live, Pack Stereo Live, kicking it off, you guys. I call it the return, and uh, it's going to be a gathering, a celebration, and some fun, man. And, uh, you know, I like that, what you did, man, with the piece of starting out. Now, what kind of priority did you put on social media? Now, how focused was it? To- I tried to make sure that they were. we wanted... We we would certainly love individuals. So I Active. didn't want to overwhelm you. With oh, I want to overwhelm. Tech. Okay, okay. <laughs> what Vic is saying, we want all of our crew to be this, broadcasting from their phone. Let me just say this. Go on and tell them, Vic. Yeah, Go on th- tell them. This place is picking not for people to train them how to do it. This place is picking people who are going. Show me that you're already doing it active because you're competitive. So it's not the training station. This is the part where it's your social media active. And that is it. That is the service and the place we reside in, in our platform. So we're not going to be something that's not reflecting who we're not. And I keep saying this to everybody else. If you all want to go look at what the social media impact is, look at every industry across the board and see what their requirements are. And then tie that to live streaming and see what the priorities are. One, two and three. If you're not doing that, no matter what the industry is. You're literally asking them to just sit back and say, okay, they got potential. We don't have to worry about who may be connected to them. Th- this is a collaboration. I love the app. I love what Miko has done with it. But it reminds me constantly. I get to see the wonderful stories of how they uplift and get people proactive. And they want to see when they give you suggestions, they want to see you go and apply it right away. Don't put it down way down here. They are, they're, the tangibility of what they do is fast turn around, and it gets results. It's a wonderful example of my associates affecting me. It's a wonderful example when Miko shows me stuff like this, Mm -hmm. and then I get it. I went there, and within an hour, I was launching a campaign. I don't don't dilly-dally. I don't dilly-dally. Once I made my Mm -hmm. assessment that it was worth investigating, Mm -hmm. then I gave it the regular Mario push. So I made the profile, got involved, advanced the membership, and then started seeking folks for us to interact with. Because the issue is we want to get a specialized crew. Because when you're part of our crew, you get to promote yourself. Whatever you're doing, if you're performing here, doing this there, you're going to get moments to promote yourself because that's what we're attempting to build. And you get the freedom to come and go as you kind of choose. You don't have to be at every show. You can interact with Victor and I, let us know what you want to attend, and all the stuff will be set. So think about it. You know, it's wonderful stuff, man. So again, wonderful example. Thank you, Miko, for uh, affecting me, and I got going on it. For those of you who are interested, take a look at what we're doing we want all kinds of people, all kinds of people. Convince us, you know, we have no body types <laughs> in mind, no specific gender or lack thereof. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we could be everything. We're just looking for to build a team that is part of what we do. Okay, now I told you that on Friday I'll be featuring the music of, that, featuring the music that you can download for free on Miles Mixtape with Frank H. Carter. Here's a track by Frank, and we'll be coming back in a minute. Love, the electrifying formula between two people with feelings, deep, charismatic, compelling, creating a union that is telling, shining a light, shedding a glow, feeling your soul. From love arises a booming energy 
sending the world a message in a bottle. There is more to the show. As the love grows and kicks into full throttle, the fused unit produces a message that becomes a more powerful whole, even more powerful than the love in full. We go here. song is free <laughs> it actually <clears throat> was not the song that I planned <clears throat> but it's a tough track hope you enjoyed it